Good morning. I completely and utterly forgot that lockdown ends today, so Soho seems a lot more livelier and Pret is fully open to actually sit in. But I'm just going in for a coffee, so. Can I get a mince pie with that as well, please? Sorry? Can I get a mince pie as well, please? Yeah, oh, thank you. Just come on, So I'm in the theatre, um, they've gone back a bit. I'm actually gonna turn that down because it's very loud. They've actually gone back in the show a bit further, um, so I'm gonna have a little bit longer to wait up here before I'm needed. But I am whiling away the time watching my cat, <laughs> watching Edgar um, on this security cam that Oliver got me for my birthday, specifically as a cat cam, so I can literally watch Edgar sleep all day just to see what he's up to. It's for days that I know that Oliver and I are gonna be out of the house at the same time, um, just that I can check up on him. Whenever that's been the case, he's always just slept in our bed until we've gotten home and just had a lovely time. Um, but it's just nice to be able to see him and just make sure he's all right. He is like my son. He is my son. Because I'm using most of my own hair for the show, I say most of because I have this longer piece that sits from here down. So then when Fontaine has her hair cut, this bit gets taken off and my hair then looks something like this. Although this is what I look like for barricades. Because I'm using some of my own hair, um, the lovely wig department put this on my desk this morning, um, which I've not used before. This is Revive, um, but it's hair moisturizer like the R&B, which is what I usually use. But this smells pretty much the same and looks essentially the same. Um, so I'm really looking forward to using this. I cannot wait. It's just my fave. For anyone who didn't know this, the little labels that tell you who the product was made by, if you lift it up, usually the person who made it leaves a message under the label. Oh, it says, we remained it. Main, I guess, is in like hair, but I wonder if that means we renamed it, like it was called R&B, but now it's called Revive interesting it smells essentially the same so maybe they did just rename it exciting yesterday i had to dig out an old makeup bag just something to put all of my makeup in for the show and i found this which is a bit of a blast from the past i bought this in singapore zoo three years ago i can't i just can't get my head around the fact that Adam's family in Singapore was that long ago. I feel like this is like a mini update. Um, I'm reading this at the moment. This is a proof copy of Girl A by Abigail Dean. And I never usually read thrillers. Um, I feel like my brain goes through enough um, worst case scenario type thinking at like 3 a.m. in the morning, keeping me up. Um, so I don't often go for thrillers. I often go for like happy, magical romances. But this is amazing it's so good um you know when you're reading a book that's so good that life gets in the way that i'm gonna go and drink my coffee and eat my mince pie and keep an ear out for when i'm meant to be downstairs i can't remember if i did a dressing room tour back when we were here before so i thought i would give you a little room tour to dressing room nine that's really annoying so the story behind this dressing room is that this part here these didn't exist and this corridor was the children's dressing room back when this theatre was the Queen's. So currently this is where all of our costumes and all of our props and headpieces and whatever, this is where they reside. So it's just me and Charlie in here. So this is Charlie's section with all of her costumes. And this is my section here with all of my costumes. And then there used to be a door here, but it was a door that no one ever went through because it led to this part of the theatre which was just filled with what I think I was told was like generators, electricity generators. Um, so it was out of bounds. So the kids literally had this and that was it. But obviously these weren't there and they had desks that came out to here and then mirrors on this wall and these windows also weren't there. So when they refurbished the place, they knocked through and created this room with these four desks. This was my seat. You might remember from the last time I was here doing the Sondheim version of the show, I have taken this seat again and Charlie's over there. So then we have these four mirrors. Hello, 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 with lovely lights. 
Um, we've got three little chairs, which is very nice. Um, it's good for the dressers um, because they set costumes. Whenever we come up here and we've got a costume change, they can set the costumes on these chairs instead of putting them on our own chairs which is where I put all of my own crap. It was also nice back before COVID days when people used to come into our dressing room and have a chat. They actually had somewhere that they could sit. Um, we also have a little humidifier there. What's quite sad is that these cards are still here from opening night um, back in January of this year. Sondheim Theatre, 16th of January, 2020. We have a little sink where we brush our teeth in another mirror, hello. And then this is the best bit. So this, you go down here. And you go down again. And here, we have a toilet and a sink, which comes with all of the Public Health England steps on how to wash your hands. And then in here, is the shower room. So we have not one shower, but two showers. And I've just realized that my shower gel is still down there as well from the last time I was here. <laughs> Can I say hello to you? What is it? Vlogmas. Vlogmas? Yeah, babe. What's that mean? A vlogger day until Christmas day. Oh my goodness, it's so much I know. <laughs> We're all back in late years again, do you Vlogmas. Rob, yeah. what is your Christmas wish? Um, I want the theatre to come back, that's my Christmas wish. That's a very ASAP. good answer, very good answer. Yeah. Okay, if you were thinking up. selfishly, completely selfishly... Puppy. <laughs> Edgar's got two advent calendars. This was kindly gifted by Scrambles. Day two. <laughs> Don't eat it! Edgar, are you excited it? about eating it? Yeah. It must have catnip in it because he only reacts like that to catnip. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What's he doing? I don't know. What are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah. 